We begin tonight with a sweeping change in leadership set to come to Pine Bluff. As you can see right there on your screen, former state representative Vivian Flowers beat out incumbent Mayor Shirley Washington in tonight's runoff election. There were just over 4,700 votes cast with 54% going to Flowers. Thank you for joining us tonight at 10 on Faith Woodard. And I'm Roly Hoyt. The Flowers family name is everywhere in the Pine Bluff community leadership structure. Pending a race against what's expected to be token opposition in November, a Flowers family member will be running the city's government. THV 11 Sarah Horbakowitz is live outside the victorious watch party with Flowers herself. Sarah, what can you tell us? Phyllis. Yeah, it was a buzz here in Pine Bluff today. Lots of people were at the polls. We went all around, but now we're here at Vivian Flowers Watch Party. After you are now the Democratic nominee, what's today been like? How are you feeling? I'm feeling uh, relieved, I'm feeling excited, and I'm feeling ready. And you talked on the campaign trail a lot about your issues. What are some yeah. of your top priorities now that you are the nominee? My top priorities remain youth, economic growth, and safety. Uh, I've been pretty consistent with that. I think that we absolutely have to uh, do a better job of uh, preparing, supporting, investing in our young people. Uh, as far as economic growth, I think we can do that in the short and long term by focusing on our transportation infrastructure as well as, um, you know, retail. But the other thing that I talked a lot about, and I think this speaks to the richness of Pine Bluff and its history, is heritage tourism. And then finally, safety. Um, we can't really move forward in any way and lessen until we get a, a, a real tight hold on, you know, the, the violent crime, the gun violence, and particularly the homicides that have so negatively impacted us um, as it relates to youth and the economy. Uh, so we're going to uh, take a very deep dive uh, in doing what works, what has worked, but also we, what we know has worked in other areas uh, and be innovative. Uh, and efficient and accountable and transparent. And I know that this is not the final step. You know, there's still the ballot in November. How are you feeling going into that race now? Um, strong. <laughs> you know, I'm, I have always been a strong Democrat uh, for no other reason than the importance of how the Democratic platform seeks to uh, lift all boats uh, focusing on, um, you know, uh, working families, focusing on uh, equity, focusing on education, uh, focusing on a living wage, which is why I think that we saw so many um, really strong um, endorsements come my way. It's not because Vivian is so great, it's because they know my record and uh, my record speaks to those issues. All right, thank you so much for your time. We're going to have more information on this race and the November race coming up on our website at THV11.com. But for now, reporting in Pine Bluff, Sarah Horbakowitz, THV11 News. Back to you guys. Operation there, Sarah, thank you very much. Uh, not the only interesting runoff that we've been watching tonight. A bitter Republican fight in hope saw Dolly Henley overtake Arnetta Bradford for a seat in the State House of Representatives. The race featured State Senator Jimmy Hickey accusing the governor's office of interfering in the race. Hickey supported Henley. Governor Sanders is friends with Bradford. And in Saline County, after two decades on the quorum court, Justice of the Peace Barbara Howell has lost her runoff to Keith Kellum.